As you guys have been living under a rock for the past couple of days, there has been a very, very intense situation going on between a very popular YouTuber by the name of Pretty Boy Fredo and mainly the 2K community. The reason why I say mainly the 2K community is because I've seen so many tweets from very, very popular content creators talking about this issue and expressing their opinions. And this topic is a very, very sensitive topic for a lot of people. The reason being is that a lot of people are Pretty Boy Fredo fans and then a lot of people see it from a perspective of it not really making sense and just someone not doing what they should be doing and the situation I'm talking about is a situation that I uploaded a video on a couple days ago about the pretty boy situation now I was gonna originally upload this video yesterday but I decided to wait to see if Fredo issued an apology and of course he did so we'll be talking about that a little later in today's video but what I want to address is how angry the 2k community was so so many people were commenting on the situation so many people were saying things including very popular youtubers by the name of Ticino Mopi and even a person who works at 2k LD 2k so Ticino saw this tweet and he quote tweeted and he said this got to be the worst thing Fredo has ever done so far in his career I usually don't mind his antics but this indirectly can mess up so many lives with the C virus then Mopi who is a part of 2 hype went ahead and he actually like went crazy like I've never actually seen Mopi publicly act like this but this was actually intense so he said great example of why Twitter is so toxic a person with heavy influence on the youth is using it for faking the C virus phone call proof means nothing and getting large groups of people together irresponsible slash dangerous for no reason at all block me you piece of crap and then he goes and follows it up with also if the c virus wasn't fake he took down the i got c virus down when the meetup happened he got all these people together after getting it that is absolutely delusional real king stuff putting your viewers older family and other people at high risk to the virus and putting them in danger so as you guys can see a lot of people are very very passionate about the situation that happened and even ld2k responded pretty boy fredo when he made the video he said irresponsible bringing together large groups of kids will embed in inevitably spread c virus to their families and essential workers you're supposed to be a role model hope this was worth it while my sister is on the front lines dealing with the c virus patients in the hospitals f this so as you guys can see there is a lot of anger a lot of frustration coming from this topic and i understand because there's th this is a really interesting conversation to have because some people don't take it seriously like there's people who are watching this video who probably think the entire virus is fake and it's a hoax and listen i don't agree with that if, if the thing was a hoax and the thing was fake then life would be normal life isn't normal so the bottom line is, is that this is a very, very serious topic that needs to be taken very seriously or the life that we're living is going to be like this forever. And I guarantee you, every single person watching this video does not want life to be like this, okay? All we have to do is listen and just behave properly. And that was the biggest reason with Pretty Boy Fredo. That was the biggest issue. People were like, okay, he has such a big influence. Why would he go ahead and act like this? Now, Pretty Boy Fredo did issue an apology and I'm gonna go ahead and talk about this right now because I imagine a lot of you guys Guys are waiting for my response because I keep getting videos on the previous video I uploaded and you guys are saying oh we issued an apology he proved that he had the C virus okay I'm a man of my word I can admit when I'm wrong did I think he faked the C virus absolutely was I wrong and did he actually have the C virus yes he provided proof and he did have the C virus so I respect the fact that he provided that proof the only thing I don't understand is why he wouldn't provide the written proof in the first place instead of deleting a video and then later providing the proof when people are already mad like I don't really understand what the plan of approach was there like why do you delete the video why don't you provide actual proof other than a phone call it just it doesn't really make sense to me as a grown man why someone would go about and do that I don't know if his initial plan was to create something like this I'm not really too sure but he did provide the proof so I am 100% in the wrong for saying that he faked the C virus because he did have the C virus once again the reason why I was so confused about it, I just talked about it. I just don't understand why you wait until you get called out to actually provide actual proof of you having the C virus. It just still doesn't make sense to me. Now, in terms of what happened next, so if he had the C virus and he said that he almost died from it, I just don't understand why you would still hold the meetup. Now, the apology was good. I actually appreciate the apology. I think a lot of people appreciated the apology. And the only thing people wanted to happen was for him to be educated on the situation. Everyone's human. Everyone makes mistakes. And I understand that. 
but the fact that we are going through a pandemic and the fact that this is a very very serious topic people are losing their lives every single person's life is being affected and then he goes out and holds an event and says that he didn't expect that many people to show up i just can't believe that the apology was good he had the c virus and i am in the wrong for saying that he didn't have the c virus but still the frustration with people still stands because people feel like he apologized only to get some heat off his back so he started getting calling out but i'm okay with it i have no issues with it i think the apology is fine do i think he needs to educate himself in the situation still absolutely hopefully he does but i didn't have any plans of canceling or ruining anyone's career obviously i couldn't ruin pretty boy fredo's career but i had no i had no intention of canceling people i said in my video that i made the other day that i don't like to cancel culture i don't like that at all i just want people to educate themselves about situations that are very serious and not act like they have a god complex that's the only thing i wanted to happen from this so that's it that's my saying on this i have no issue with this situation anymore i just hope people get educated in the proper departments and understand what to do moving forward hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure to drop a like do not forget to subscribe to the youtube channel we just hit 85k yesterday i believe so hopefully we get 100k before 2k21 but i hope you guys enjoyed the video drop a like all that fun stuff and uh yeah peace